sa ka-retired nga US paramedic ang nagaserbe karon bilang emergency medical volunteer sa pila ka mga organization sa Bacolod, Cagnegros. Kabahin siya sa mga trainer nga nagabulig agud mahanas ang ikasarang sa mga local nga mga emergency responders sa probinsya. Aton siya kinalahon sa sining episode sang Paganiha. Sang ginhiwat ang masadya kag nangin madinalagon nga Mascara Festival nangin kabahin sang standby medical team. Ang retired US paramedic nga si Lloyd Parker, kaupod sa pila pa ka mga volunteer organization. May duwa na katuig nga nagaserbe siya bilang volunteer sa Emergency Medical Responders Raptor. Listen, if something's close by, I'll go to it. I've, I've been to a few accidents and things like that. You do. So then there's the medical missions, right, which you, you're familiar with, where we, where, it's, where, we, where we go and we do you know, health screenings for people. And then there's also standbys. So the standbys are when you like go to what well, we did the, the during the, events. I've yeah, the, the event, like like mascara. We just finished oh, mascara, so they're like special events. Historia ni Parker sang yara palang siya sa kolehiyo. Nangin katapo na siya sang kinalang volunteer organization sa Florida, USA. Tubtub na nangin professional paramedic sa Estados Unidos. Sang ginigo sa mabasko ng linog ang pungsod Haiti sang 2010. Nangin kabahin sang standby medical team si Parker sa isa ka ospital sa sulod man sang duwa ka bulan. Iniantes pa man siya nakalabot sa Kuwait para magtrabaho man sa isa ka ospital. Nakapangasawa sang negrensa nga taga Banwa sang Kawayan si Parker. Gani nagdesisyon siya nga mga buhi sa Bacolod kag Negros. I had also worked for something called the National Disaster Medical System in the United States. We run field hospitals at disasters. Mm -hmm. Is it so, volunteer? So, well, no, you're you're paid to do that. And so I had been um, uh, in Haiti for two months um, mm -hmm. after the earthquake there, running field hospitals. And so I sort of got interested in international things. Uh, and that was sort of how the Kuwait happened. I got interested in international things. I was sort of looking for a job. I worked as an, as a, in emergency medical services, first as a paramedic, and then you know, went through the ranks and was a battalion chief and I retired as a battalion chief in the service. Sa sulod sa duwa naman, katuig, naging kabahay na sa mga medical mission si Parker sa Bacolod, kagiban pa nga lugar sa probinsya. Kaupod ang pilapa ka mga volunteer organization. Isa man si Parker sa nagaserbe trainer sa ginatos na nga mga emergency medical volunteer sa nagkalain-lain nga partner organization. For Angai 41, um, I was more involved in the planning than I was the actual operation. So for, you know, for, for 14 years, I volunteered and then I got, I, I started, I got some paid jobs. Now, mm -hmm. I've always done volunteer work. Mm -hmm. off, off on the side doing other things for, for, for some organization. I've always done volunteer mm -hmm. stuff. But, um, you know, I, I became a paid EMS person. So, so, so I became a volunteer again. I started right back where I started from. <laughs> volunteering again. Sa 14 na katuig bilang volunteer kagpagserbisyo bilang anay paramedic sa pila ka mga pungsod sa abroad, ginapasalamatan ni Parker nga wala na butang sa Italita lang iya kabuhi. Kag wala siya nakaagom sang kasamaran sa ginarespondihan ng mga emergency cases. And I was a, mem a, a volunteer member of the Roanoke Life Saving Crew, which was the world's first volunteer rescue squad. So a lot of history there. So, you know, we talk about safety first, but safety third is sort of a public safety concept where we would we might take some risk that, that the person without our experience and knowledge and, you know, understanding of, of what's going on probably shouldn't take. Okay, now, um, I've been pretty lucky. I've never really been injured um, as a result of work. I've been a couple of times where I've been in dangerous situations, for sure. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, pretty lucky that maybe I got out of them without, you know, without any real serious harm happening to myself mm. or people around me. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I don't think they're, the, the, the risks are any, they're not any different than the people that were involved in the circumstance that you were trying to get out of the same risk. Para kay Parker, Iya nakabig bilang daily routine ang ila pagbulig sa mga persona nga nagakinahanglan sang pre-hospital care ilabi na ang mga nagakabiktima sang road crash. You know, that's why I'm volunteering and really is to help share some of those experiences and hopefully, you know, provide some some some, some training, some mentorship and some things like that to to some responders in the area. Uh, so that that's why I'm doing it. I mean, it's not a lot about patient care is a lot about sort of you know downloading my knowledge to others Malayo man kuni kompara ra mga nabaton nga benepisyo kag pagkilala sa mga emergency medical technicians o kon EMTs lakip na daring mga medical volunteers sa abroad pero nagapati si Parker nga kun maaprubahan na ang mga hagna para sa mga paramedical professionals kag EMTs mas magadamo pa 
ang mga nagaserbe karon nga mga kasubong niya bilang local medical volunteers sa mga organisasyon.